Hey folks, I'm here today to review Alex Freeberg's new free course on building a data career. Let's see what the official name is, Landing a Data Job. So here we go. All right, let's make him big and me small. So here we go. This is Analyst Builder. This is Alex's platform. Landing a Data Job is his new course. It is, as you can see up here, it is free for uh, the rest of the week until September 8th, which I think is Sunday. Yes. Um, so let's get into it. Now, I knocked this thing out yesterday. I did kind of skim over a couple of things, which we'll talk about, but I wanted to get you my first impressions of this thing. Bottom line up front, this is a very good course. Um, it certainly is outstanding for free content. If you pay the full price, it's only 14 bucks which is a bargain anyway. It's, uh, you can see it's about three, three and a half hours worth of content. Obviously you can take kind of a buffet approach and, uh, and pick and choose the things that you wanna do right away. Um, but he starts out with an introduction, just talking about himself and then gets into understanding the job search. Now this is super valuable just because a lot of times you'll get perspectives from people in the space and it's sort of limited by their own experience. We'll talk a, a little bit more about that later, but um, Alex has perspectives from a lot of different perspectives. Went, went full Dr. Evil there. Uh, but he's he's been in the game as a job seeker multiple times. He's been in the game as a job grantor, I suppose. A, a, a job screener, a resume reader and a hiring manager. So he's seen it from a lot of different angles. So he knows the, the sort of ins and outs and, and what people are looking for from each, uh, each perspective. So here we go, understanding the job search. This section is awesome, what employers really want. That is a huge information gap in the space. So that was a fantastic part. Um, basically just, be, just give you, gives you five bullets there. And that's a kind of a strong point of this course is that really every, the, the videos are kind of varying lengths. Um, let's just see Alex here. Here we go. Yeah. So I, I was listening to Alex at kind of high speed, but he, he kind of bulletizes everything, makes it super digestible. None of the videos is are, are overly long. You can see six minutes. That last one was eight minutes. There's some that are 10 or 15, but they're, they're super bite-sized, super easy to, to digest um, nothing. You're not getting like a PhD answer on anything, but um, understanding the job search, tremendous information there. And, and it's something that I've noticed not a lot of job seekers know about. Crafting an effective resume. I'm going to do a whole separate video on this because this was the one part where I found myself disagreeing with some of the things that he talked about. And really those things were kind of minor, but that was the one part where he said a few things and I was like, eh, don't, don't know that I 100% agree with that. And honestly, that's the one place where I feel kind of personally qualified to quibble with Alex. Alex has far more experience than I do. Obviously, he's had multiple different jobs and we're all limited by our own experience, but I've spent a lot of time in the resume space. There were things where I don't know that Alex has the quite as much recent heavy exposure to analyst resumes and what's working and what's not working. So there were some things he said where I was like, either disagree or kind of, you know, didn't, didn't really agree with the way he presented it, thought it could be um, a bit misleading for some people. So I'll do a separate video just about the resume section. That's kind of my, uh, my swim lane, but he, here's the thing. Don't, I wouldn't discount anything he says in the resume section. I had some qualms with certain things but overall it's excellent guidance for resumes. You're not gonna go wrong if you go through this resume section and follow what Alex tells you to do. He's, he's, not, he's not steering anybody off course, okay? So don't, don't wanna give people the wrong impression. There are just certain things where I was like, eh, yeah, yes and, or yeah, but kind of uh, rebuttals that I have to certain things he said. So don't, don't overthink it. If you're if you're planning on doing this course and adopting his recommendations, you're not going to go wrong. Portfolio projects and website. I mean, what can I say? I, I am not good at this. I do have a GitHub. I have a website. It doesn't really show my portfolio. Alex is the master at breaking this down so that 
a lay person can understand it so that a, a fresher and entry level analyst can kind of get off the on the ground and running as quickly as possible with projects with a website he's been doing this for years i mean you really can't go wrong this building your portfolio website this is kind of the uh the one heavy hitter video because he goes soup to nuts through how to build a free wix website to take your portfolio projects that you can do in analyst builder not an advocate for the platform just saying you can do it here um but he goes like kind of all the way through how to build that website, get it functional, get it, you know, so that it doesn't look like a pile of crap. And uh, I did not go through that. I did not build a Wix website with him. That's the one kind of chunk that I cut out in the name of speed and efficiency. And I, I kind of don't feel like I need to do that. But anyway, if you do, awesome. If that is, you know, as as good a a, a kind of bare bones guide as you're going to get this one here applying to jobs and working with recruiters love this section at the end i will give you one one kind of caveat to this one one slight yeah but um now you can't again you can't go wrong following alex's advice here he talks about where to apply to jobs um you know what sites you can go on various different tactics kind of touches on sort of a volume approach versus a targeted approach um good 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 guidance there how recruiters work alex i know had a lot of success early in his career working with recruiters and he talks about that that's his personal experience i personally did not have i didn't go heavy with recruiters but i didn't didn't really find much success with them um so this was very interesting to me this was definitely something different that that I did not experience how to get in contact with recruiters. A lot of people kind of crying out like recruiters ghost me. They don't talk to me. There's probably a reason for that. Um, but he, he straight up gives you a template right here. I mean, look at this template LinkedIn message. That'll probably fit in the 300 characters too, the way it looks like it. So um, yeah, get out there, spend, spend your in mails working with recruiters. If you're trying to get a job and uh, you know, here's a, here's an, a cold email. That's great. Another dude who's great for cold emails is uh, Nick Singh. So kind of side props for him and his platform. Talk about that some other time. Um, but then interview tips. This is fantastic guidance right here. Um, and, and Alex gets down into, I mean, e even down into like what to wear, how to, you know, how to, how to kind of, how to ask good questions. And that's something that very few people are talking about. Preparing for your technical interviews. I think in here he gets down to you know, um, how to research companies. Here you go. This is where he says, hey, look, look up the company. Look up some things about the company. I would even expand a little further on this. But this is fantastic guidance here. Look at their social media presence. What they're putting out on social media, especially what they're putting out on their LinkedIn page, is probably their corporate message. And if it's their corporate message, it will probably reflect reflects their corporate values. Don't try to say reflect in corporate at the same time. It doesn't work out for you. But th this is tremendous guidance here. Very few people out there talking about advice like this. Read news articles about the company. Be prepared to ask about their ventures, about what they're doing. The worst thing you can do at the end of an interview, when the recruiter says, or the, the hiring manager says, do you have any questions for us? Say, no, you've answered them all. Don't Don't do that have at least a couple of token questions that pertain specifically to the company and alex even goes further to say hey don't ask what the company does like that's going to make you look really bad so research the industry news about the company their social media presence go on their website find their mission statement be, be prepared to talk about things like their corporate values um, great great guidance there he gets even further into negotiating salary and then getting promoted. So now you're getting into like career strategy. You know, I mean, by, by the time you get through this, you'll be ready to to hand yourself off to Vin Vashishta and really, uh, you, you know, get into like how to how to shape your career. Um, so overall, a great course. You know, what's the what's the bottom line? It's a very good course, whether you do the free version or whether you kind of hem and haw for uh, until Monday and then go, oh, shucks, hey, it's 14 bucks. Um, I, I've, I've tipped more than 14 bucks for dinner for me and my wife. Um, so you think of the, the dumbest thing you've ever spent 20 bucks on, um, this is not going to be it. So 
well worth the price of admission. Obviously, it's Alex's bid to kind of get you on his site and get you to buy his other courses. As far as I can tell, his platform is is very good. Um, it it looks very constructive. I tried out some of his SQL problems early on. I've not bought any of his courses, so I can't kind of confirm or deny that. Uh, but I'm, I'm hearing people say great things about the platform. I will say about this course in general, things that I appreciated. First of all, Alex has, I would say probably thousands of hours of YouTube content. It would have been very easy for him to just take a bunch of his old YouTube videos and sort of cobble them together into a mini course. I definitely know influencers, data influencers that have done such a thing. That to me seems kind of cheap and corny. You're making people pay for an aggregation of your free content. Alex didn't do that. He, this is, as far as I can tell, there, there may have been one video in there where I was like, wait a minute, this might've been a YouTube video, but you know, what one, one we can forgive. The vast majority of this content seems like brand new content that he created. I actually, so sort of inside baseball, one of the first few videos I found a very minor uh, goof that he made just kind of going through and he, he said the same thing twice. Now I sent him a message and was just like, hey, just so you know, you got a little hiccup here. Um, this I think you meant to say this and you said this. And he was like, oh, thanks, man. I'm telling you, 10 minutes later, he was like, fixed it. The man went and just re-recorded the video and uploaded it to the course, like in real time. Um, so that should go to tell you that he's created all new content for this, you know, hours of new content. These are his kind of pet topics. If you go back through his hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos, you're going to find all of these topics discussed in some way, shape or form. But a lot of a lot of the courses that you pay for online, they're they're aggregations of topics, aggregations of information that you can find out there for free. If you want to go through Alex's YouTube channel and find most of this content in some form or another, you can do that. It, it'll take you time to figure out where all the videos are because they're scattered throughout his YouTube history. And it's going to take you even more time than three hours to go through those videos because a lot of them are kind of older and sometimes he's, he's hit a topic more than once. And so essentially you're getting on here and, and he's saying, hey, here is the the aggregation of my knowledge, what I what I know about getting a data job. All of this information is great. Like I said, there, there's nothing in here where I was like, no, nah, man, you're, you're way off base. You can follow all of this guidance and be golden. Um, what am I talking about? I'm sorry, I'm looking at my notes here. The only cons, it's not even really a con. The only thing that I can say, just take with a grain of salt. Everybody is ruled by their own experience. And this is something I ran into many times in the Marine Corps. And so th this is something I have experience with. I, I can't disagree with most of Alex's judgments on the data job space. Everybody is ruled by their own experience. There are definitely instances here, such as the guidance on how to work with recruiters, where I had a very different experience and, I, and people that I talked to have had a very different experience Alex does a good job of prefacing certain things by saying, this is what I did, take it or leave it. That's great advice. But just know that a lot of things he recommends that you do, a lot of things that he says may, impl or implies may lead to a success. They're things that he did and had good success with. Other people's experience are often experiences are often very different. One thing that he talked about that I found interesting when he was talking about the application process, his initial application process, he said he he submitted a thousand applications and, and only got 50 calls back. In my experience and in the, the studies that I've seen done on the space, a 5% rate of, rate of return on cold applications is pretty good. You should be looking for three to four at a minimum if you're down around like one or 2% then you probably got a problem. 0% obviously is a problem. But he was getting a 5% rate of return as an like completely inexperienced, like new college graduate. 
to get a 5% rate of return, that's, that's pretty good. And so when he said, I was only getting this and then I improved my game. Hey, if you can improve from a 5% rate of return on cold applications, bonus, do it. Um, but I would say if, if a client came to me and said, Hey, I'm only getting 5% on my applications, I, I'd be telling them, Hey, that, that actually is not bad at all. Um, so things like that. And I don't say that to, to argue with Alex there. He, he worked hard. He did better than 5%. Awesome. You should definitely be aiming for better than 5%. You certainly want to do better than that with like targeted resumes, but that's something that I'll talk about with clients or, or maybe in a, a future video of my own. Um, but just know Alex is ruled by his experience like anybody else is, like I am. And so the, some of the things that he recommends may not necessarily be, you know, the, the best use of your time objectively. They're the best use of your time in the judgment of Alex Freeberg. And there's nothing wrong with that. He can't be anyone else but himself. Just know that, you know, that there's there's things in between here. Other than that, the only things that I found myself sort of yeah budding or or thinking of other things that I would have included are just things that would have extended the runtime of the class. I know that he was looking to do a, you know, kind of bare bones, down and dirty, looking forward and looking at uh, at platforms that other people have have done, friends of mine that, that have their own kind of learning platforms like this, I anticipate Alex is going to build out a much more robust career section in Analyst Builder. Look forward to that. I think that this is probably kind of test betting the market and getting people on his site and getting people subscribing to him. And sooner or later, he's going to add a kind of a full career portion, just like I, I won't name drop too many of his competitors, but um, just like other people in the space have done, um, where you've got some networking and you've got some, maybe some interview coaching, some more robust resume guidance. And so I definitely look forward to that. So bottom line, you should definitely, if, you, if you're looking to get into the space, there is a lot of good knowledge in this. I'm over here, like swinging my cursor around, like I haven't just taken it off the screen. <sighs> Anyway, we're just trying to get this out there. This is not super well rehearsed. Um, the, the, the course is well put together. It is high quality. You cannot go wrong with this thing. Whether you get it for free between now and Sunday, probably Sunday midnight, I'm imagining, or whether you, you wait and you pay the 14 bucks, can't go wrong. Highly recommend this course. There's a ton of good guidance here. And with that, folks, Semper Fidelis, and I'll talk to you later.